What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang's Away video. Now, as you can tell by the title of the video, why do cards like this exist? Does it benefit us? Uh, things like that. They're the questions that I'm asking. Does it benefit us? Is it good for the game? Is it good for the community? Uh, does it make the game better? Does it make the game worse? These are the questions that I'm asking. Uh, the first card that we're looking at here, this Rondo, this is on the lower end of the scale. Um, this, I think, is more an attempt to... No, well, I don't know. I, I just... This is the lower end of the scale. So we look at this Rondo stats. Okay. Three-point shot, 76. Rondo's not the best three-point shooter. Okay. He's not... That's just what it is. He's a, a good post playing guard. Or he was. Uh, maybe not at the diamond level. Uh, you know... He's good with his ball handle, his pass IQ, his pass accuracy, good defender, things like that. That's what Rondo should be. When you Evo this card and you get it to Pink Diamond, his three ball goes up to a 90. Mid-range 92, close 92, free throw 93. Does anything else go up? Um, no. So his shooting just skyrockets, just absolutely skyrockets. And I don't know why. I don't know why they'd put this in. I mean, this is, like I said, the lower end of the scale, but two or three months ago it wasn't. This was a top-tier card. Uh, one of, you know, this card, the Bill Russell card, the uh, DeMar DeRozan card, all from that New Year's resolution set. When they Evo, they become really, really unstoppable. Well, not so crazy unstoppable, but unstoppable in ways that they shouldn't. Okay, so... Say for argument's sake, I'm guarding Rondo with Tony Parker. I know, in normally, I can lay off Tony Parker a little bit. I mean, I can lay off uh, Rondo a little bit. Once he's evo no, you can't. You have to play him three-point line and everything. Like I said, this is the lower end of the scale. This is kind of like, meh, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter. Now, if we go and have a look at this Shaquille O'Neal and Ben Wallace, this is when it's well, where it's starting to get absolutely crazy. Ben Wallace, okay, for one, I know he started as a small forward, probably played some power forward, but for, like, the picture that they're showing, that's Ben Wallace in the Pistons. He was the center. He played center. Power forward was Rasheed Wallace. Small forward was Tayshaun Prince, Rip Hamilton, and Chauncey Billups. They were the guards. Ben Wallace couldn't shoot threes. Could not shoot threes, okay? But 2K decide, let's give him a 92 three ball. Like, what the hell? Why? Other than to piss people off. Like, why? I know why. Same reason they give the Shaquille O'Neal card. They make him absolutely insane. His post moves and everything, great. It's where they should be. It's Shaquille O'Neal. It's freaking Galaxy Open Shaquille O'Neal. Three-point shot, 90. Free throw, 90. <laughs> okay, mid-range, 92. Block is where it should be. Steel is where it should be. Perimeter defense, adequate. Interior defense, where it should be. Rebounding, where it should be. Speed, no. There's no way Shaq, or even Carl Anthony Towns for that matter, was an 89 speed or a 94 speed. You know, I feel like we're getting away from realism and we're getting too crazy. We skipped over just a bit of fun. We've gone from realism to crazy. Now, I know you're probably going to look at me and go, but we had Shaq that could do that last year. And he could play point guard. Yeah, and it was bullshit last year. But last year was the end of the cycle. We've still got four or five months to go of this game. And who knows what's going to happen with the next game. And they're already putting out bullshit cards like this. It ruins the game for people that are trying to play at Sim. Okay, and I know you're going to say, okay, it's a, it's a fantasy game. You know, it's... You can just have whatever you want. If you can just have whatever you want, then just let us choose the, the stats of every player. Don't just go crazy. And what I'm going to say here, I'm not trying to take shots at anyone, but I think that this person may be part of the reason that things have gone crazy. Okay, Robbie from Two Bros Gaming. Love Two Bros Gaming. I love his channel. I think he's a decent guy. I think he's easy to talk to, he communicates with the community, um, you know, great guy to have. But ever since he come along 
and jumped on the 2K sort of like the 2K side of things, which I think was 2K19, things went crazy. I looked back in my last video, if you haven't already, go check that out. This Shaq card from 2K16, 17 and 18, those three games, the Shaq, the top tier Shaq card was a beast. It was dominant, but it was a Shaq card. It wasn't Ray Allen or Ray Shaquille O'Neal Allen or Shaquille O'Neal Ray Allen, whatever. You know, but when Robbie come along, all of a sudden, cards started getting crazy. Last year, we seen it at the end of the year. This year, we've still got months and months and months to go. And they're already getting like this. It's insane. And like I said, I don't know if Two Bros Gaming has anything to do with it. And I'm not taking shots at him. I'm not picking on him, not saying he's stupid or bad or anything like that. I'm just wondering whether he has something to do with this. Whether he's the one that is sort of saying that we should be going in this direction. Because honestly, this is a bad direction to go. Um, the super crazy things, that's for Park. Like, people can have 99 players in Park. Why do we have to have ridiculous cards like this in my team? I mean, you know, like I said, it is what it is. If you like this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this type of thing, give me a thumbs up. If you're neutral, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I'm just, I'm interested to see where we go. But oh, I was going to end the video there and I forgot to say why I think they do this. For argument's sake, Wilt Chamberlain is the 12-0 and player this year. I meant this month. People might go, okay, I got Galaxy Opal Wilt. I'm going to sit on Wilt. He's going to be my center now. I don't need to buy any other centers. So they have to put out a card like Shaquille O'Neal and Ben Wallace that can shoot threes. So people go, oh, i still got to rip packs. You know, people might have said, I don't need Shaq. I got Wilt if the Shaq didn't have a crazy three ball and crazy dribble moves. Okay, so they do this to make us buy packs or to make people want to buy packs. So, yeah, I'm going to say this. Don't go and buy packs. Don't go and rip packs. There's a bunch of channels. Spacewood Bird, uh, Henry the Blasian, I think, does some um, logic looks. Great sniping channels. They'll teach you how to snipe. Um, do things that way. Cards like this, I think, ruin the mode. But, yeah, I don't know. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, let me know down in the comment section below what, what your opinion is on cards like this Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from here because things are just going to get crazier. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. Um, and yeah, we'll see where we go. Anyway, thanks, guys. Peace.